Welcome, you're at the AJA Video System stand here at IBC 2016. Uh, we're thrilled to announce a whole bunch of new products again at the show. And the real focus for this year's show is around workflows. Filling out workflows, whether they're SDI, whether they're IP, whether you're HD based, T based, uh, a lot of options, including uh, a wonderful new router. So what we have at the top here is what's called the Kumo 6464. This will of course mean that you can bring in as many as 64 inputs, route them to 64 outputs. Uh, the Kumo routers allow you to actually group, so you can send dual link, two pairs, to any other set of two pairs on the output. You can use four as a group and send them for of course your 4K needs. For our Rovercam, the Rovercam was introduced earlier this year. And a reminder, the Rovercam is a block camera that handles Ultra HD and HD workflows and is connected in terms of moving your signals around through HD base T, which means using category Ethernet cable. So it's not an IP workflow, you're moving uncompressed video, audio, control, all across a single cable. So to go alongside it, we now have the new Rovo RX SDI. And this is an Ultra HD, HD base T receiver, but on the output, you've got 6G as an option, or 3G, it's up to you, but the 6G ports, four of them, you can be sending out simultaneously, alongside HDMI. This gives you a lot of workflow opportunities. You can be sending 4K Ultra HD to four different devices. You might use the 3G capabilities to go into Keeper Ultra for recording. And again, you can also be feeding HDMI. And in fact, you can turn into DA mode if you needed to. So you have a single source coming in for a rover cam, you can DA it out to four different locations along the SDI. We also have an update for the Kona IP with our new 12.5 software. The Kona IP card was introduced at NAB with 2022-6 support, which is uncompressed video across IP workflows. Uh, at this show, we're introducing 2022-7, uh, which basically gives you redundancy. So using the two SFP cages, this enables broadcasters to get a lot more secure transport of IP video feeds. If one happens to go down, it'll automatically pick up on the other. We also have a new ROY SDI. ROY stands for Region of Interest. This is our uh, series of mini converters that were designed specifically to help people take, for instance, from a computer desktop, pull out the portion they want to send it to video. This guy is actually taking 3G SDI video in. So this gives you a lot of options. You can take a portion of an original video image, basically scale it up uh, to send out through the outputs. Uh, you can even rotate, which makes it perfect for video walls. Loop them, and you can take the same source image to create video walls vertically, where it's a window-like effect. We also have the new IPR1Gs. These are our first mini converters designed for IP workflows. They're effectively receivers for JPEG 2000 streams. So if you've got JPEG 2000 that you're using within your IP workflow, these are gonna be your point of display uh, devices to drive either an SDI monitor or an HDMI monitor. Beneath that, we've got the C10DA. This is a brand new composite distribution amplifier. Yes, we're going back a few years here, but there are plenty of markets around the world that actually require and need to still take SD material and distribute it in a bunch of ways. If you're in an HD facility, you would still buy this device. Why? Because you can actually feed in a tri-level sync, and then you can distribute sync around the building. Our UTAPs. Our UTAPs were announced at NAB and are now shipping. These devices simply connect to your computer through USB 3 and allow you to capture for streaming, conferencing purposes, video conferencing, FaceTime even. And you don't even need drivers because it's using USB 3. It's simply going to use the OS itself. It appears like a webcam. However, you can be using professional SDI or HDMI. For KeyPro Ultra, our most incredibly popular digital player recorder, which supports all the way up to 4K, we have a great new announcement here with version 2, and we're going to be introducing Avid DNX HD support. So, just expanding workflows again for our users. And then finally, Rover Control version 2.0. This is the software that goes along with the Rover RX SDI or Rover Cam. We've added some great new features there with spot focus, the ability to save presets for multiple camera use, 
and a range of color and luminance uh, options to really give you a little, little more control over your imagery. So as you can see, it's a wide swath of workflows that we're offering you. Uh, if you want to learn more, please go to www.aja.com, take a look at our What's New page, and explore each product. Uh, there's bound to be an answer for a problem that you're currently facing with your workflows, and we honestly believe that we've brought a lot of solutions to market here at the show for you.